Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, of course. Hello? Good. Yeah. Mr. Luis Molina, I think I know you. <laughs> Maybe I suppose uh, that, that you was my teacher. But many, many, many I years ago. Maybe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember very well. Where do you work? Mm, maybe. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, I, I am work. I am working with a social social program. Wait, I remember. Did you do you run? Yes, of course. I and remember. I, yeah, I think it was in Academia Europea a long, long time ago. Ah, uh, yes. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. But that was maybe fifteen years ago or more. Yes, it's a long time. Uh huh. And uh, do you know about Alfredo? Yeah. This maybe but, it was a, a your friend. Is is he is a no? He was a teacher in, in the Italian teacher. Maybe I I I I don't remember very well. Alfredo Greco. Greco, yeah. Yeah, he was he, he was very Christian. Yeah, very Christian. This is the reason that he was my 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 friend because uh, he he liked to talk about Jesus and sometimes to talk a uh, a drink a coffee and talk about maybe the Bible, right? Yes, it's uh, good. Mm -hmm. No, Alfredo Greco is a wonderful person. Yeah. Maybe he, he left El Salvador and now. No, no, he's still here. No. I, I have seen yeah. him. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, I've seen him like, in, you know, in the street, but I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So hello, class. How are you? Let me see. Let's wait for more people to come in. Hi, Carla. Okay, one thing. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Hey, there's Mirna. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Mirna. What happened to you? <laughs> what happened to you? I didn't see you the last two days. Be? No, the last two days of class. Wow. Oh, it's true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> one day I forgot the class. Yeah, and I think that is just one day, the last day of the class. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on. Let me check one thing. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. Okay, Larry, Oscar, Francisco, and Irene, hi. There's Oscar. Good evening, teacher. I am Irina. I'm Can sorry, you... it's true, <laughs> Irina. Hey, nice, I'm sorry. I, I never heard your name before. Nice, nice name. Thank you, teacher. What about Larry? Hello, good evening. All right, hi, how are you? All right, hi, thank you. Hello, Miguel. Hello, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, class, thank you very much for for being on time today. Um, oh, let me see. Today's the first day, so I'm going to um, set standards, expectations, okay? Okay. So, in Safor, uh, Mirna, must, she knows this because I say this all the time. Okay. Insaforb asks to please, if you have a webcam, to turn it on. 
because we don't take, do you know what is roll call? Asistencia, roll call. So we don't take roll call uh, in Safortas. So sometimes they go inside the, the, the system and they just look at who is connected. Because we have had problems. Uh, yes or no, Mirna, last time, many people are connected, but you call them, for example, you know, you say, hey, hello, Jose. And they, I, I think I had like three students last time that um, I never heard them. <laughs> they would connect all the time, but I, I they, and every time I would call on them or ask them questions, they never participated. So I don't know if they just connected and and watch Netflix or YouTube or, 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 you know, some people are on the phone. So that's why Insafor really ask is because, and sometimes the people get angry because they say, hey, I didn't learn anything. This, and I was like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. So when they go and they look at the videos <laughs> and they say, hey, well, I've never seen you participate. Okay. And sometimes I feel bad because sometimes, um, like for example, I know Jose here, right? Okay, there's a Jose. Imagine Jose, he connects every day and every time I have to ask him a question, okay, Jose, he never answers. So what happens is I start ignoring him and that's bad <laughs> because he has to participate. So if you have a webcam, please join. So let's see what to do. Okay, so I think we're all here. So, okay. Um, so my name is David Beltrons. I will be your teacher for this month. Um, I really hope you have questions for me because if you don't have questions, I will have questions for you. All right. All right. So uh, let's start with Alex Cornejo. Tell us about you, Alex, what you do, where do you live? Okay. Um, um, I live in Suepango neighborhood. <laughs> uh, this is kind of uh, around here, um, Sierra Morena neighborhood. Okay, yeah, okay. So you live in Soyapango City. Sierra Morena City, is Sierra, the right. neighborhood. Right, right, right. I'm sorry okay. about that. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Don't be sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you know, I. I think I, I saw one, I think I saw one of my uh, classmates before, but a long time, a long, long time now see him, like Miguel Franco, for example, right? Was the last year we participated in, in a, another course, an English course, I think, another teacher, right? So I have been, it yeah, has been for a little long time. I, I, have, I have practiced. Well, okay. And what do you yeah. do, Alex? So right now, yeah, I work. I work in, in, a, in a, a small company. Okay. And yeah, I work from, from 8 to, to 4 p.m. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. So business yeah. hours. Yeah, right. American <laughs> business hours. I don't know right. why it's actually 9 to 5. Yeah. So um, it's nice to be here again, you know. Cool. Um, Welcome back. Welcome yeah. back. So I want to learn more. And, awesome. Uh, uh, thanks for 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 tell us that that we can we can ask you uh, so many questions because oh, I yeah, like please. to I like to ask I like to make uh, so many questions, you know. Oh, I like people that ask questions. Right. So because thanks. I am like that. I am like that. Every time right. I go somewhere, I always ask questions. Yeah. And I say. am not afraid. I am not afraid. He, he might think I am stupid. No, right. I always <laughs> ask questions. When I go to the doctor and I don't understand what the doctor is saying, I don't just say, uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. Okay. So no, I, I start asking. <laughs> yeah. Same. I think it's same as me because um, um, I, I, I like, I, like uh, oh, I want to learn more. You know? Good. Uh, so I make questions and, and so it's nice to be here and I hope uh, learn a lot with you and with 
with the classmate, you know. Uh, I like to participate. Yeah. All right, awesome, good. Thank you. All right, welcome. Mirna, hi. Hi, everybody. Introduce hey. yourself to the class, Mirna. So I, my name is Mirna Sanabria. You can call Mirnita, please. <laughs> How? Mirnita. No, whatever. Mirnita. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I have, uh, sorry, I am a 18 years old. <laughs> oh, yes, you're 18 now. You can go to a party, to the, to the bars now, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I remember the last class you couldn't. No. <laughs> and Your I'm birthday a, was I'm last a, week then, right? Yeah, a, last Sunday. Hey, happy birthday. Do, do you have your Dewey now? Yes. Remember, remember we were talking about the Dewey. Did your mom and dad have to go with you? No. My mom, yeah. Because uh, she, uh, they asked for the, she, her signature. Okay. But that's the only time, right? Yeah. Now, if you lose your Dewey, you just, because you're registered now, right? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So you're officially an, an adult now. And it's free. <laughs> yeah. <And> it's free. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, Mirna, welcome back. Okay, um, Oscar, Oswaldo Herrera, hi. Hi, teacher, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. So tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Oscar Herrera. I am new here. This is my first day in this course. Okay. And currently I am working as an expert coordinator in a construction company. And um, I live in Soyapango City too. All right. Like Alex. <laughs> and well, I am here because I want to improve my English. I want to learn more. And I want to, uh, you know, learn, learn, learn. You know? Oh, good. So, All right. So yes. we have two people from Soyapango. Oh, one, one more thing. Mirna, she is from Metapan. Yeah. Okay. She's all the way in Metapan. <laughs> all right. So Miguel Franco, hi. Tell, introduce yourself, please. Hey, hello, teacher. I'm, okay, my, my name is Miguel Franco. I live in Santa Tecla. I work for the Texi Laboratory as a develop coordinator, develop business coordinator. And then uh, uh, I've been waiting a lot of times to start this, this module today. <laughs> Since uh, September, we were waiting with my old uh, classmate. Oh, really? Then I, I, I see you again, Alice Cornejo. They, they have been lost a lot of time. Right. <laughs> and then Mirna, Irina, Luis, welcome. Uh, hey, see, I good, hey good, thank good, you. Good to see you. Good to see you again. <laughs> yeah, me too. Here we are to learn more and try to improve our, our English. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Larry Eduardo Figueroa Barraza. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good, thank you for asking. Okay. Go ahead, tell us about yourself, sir. Okay, uh, my name is Larry and I'm 60, 57, excuse me. Uh, right now I am unemployed, looking for, for searching for a job, but uh, one of my goals are to improve my my English okay. and uh, that, that's it I live in near Sacamil in San Salvador Mexicanos and that's it uh, so you live you live near La Sacamil right yes I have a question does El Sopon Sacamil still exist yes of course I remember that it was yeah. good it was very it's famous a, it's a great place. Man, that has many years. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I remember a long, 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 very long time ago, I had a girlfriend and she lived near La Sacam near Sopon Sacamil. So we frequently went to eat there. I remember oh, that. Oh, yes. All right, cool. Thank you. Carla Chavez, hi. Hi, good evening, everybody. How are you? It's so nice to hear from all of you. So right. my name is Carla Chavez. I'm a teacher. 
I'm a Spanish teacher, actually. Um, I live in Santa Tecla, and this is also my first class. And yeah, I'm very excited for meeting all of you, very for practicing. Exciting. And I have big expectations um, on improving my grammar. Thank you. So, wow, well, good. <laughs> Thank well, you. you know, you know, one thing, one thing. Um, you, you. So you're a Sp grammar Spanish teacher, right? Yeah, like literature and linguistic Spanish oh. teacher. And where yeah. do you teach? On um, in Highlands International School. But that that's that oh, Highlands. I've heard of Highlands. Uh, it's the one next to the presidential house. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I teach Spanish in middle school. Yes, I've heard about oh, Okay, good, good for you. Yeah. Spanish is ugly, huh? <laughs> Why? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. No, it's, it's not It's not ugly. It's, it's, it's very difficult. Yeah, it is. I mean... Actually... It, Mm -hmm. Most of my students can't understand my classes and um, the reference is directly from the English class. We are like teaching kind of the same topic in they're learning the same in English and in Spanish. And it's harder for them to learn in Spanish than yes, in English. Yes, it is because um, believe it or not, class English is very easy compared to Spanish. Um because it's more uh, have uh, order. Yeah, it's more it's more like logic. Like, like um, let me give an example. Remember, I don't know if I told you in the last class. Like, let's say in in English, you say eat. I eat. You eat. We eat. She eats. They eat. So okay, good. Entonces, imagine I'm speaking Spanish. Oh, I am learning Spanish. Eat, comer. I, yo. Yo comer? Oh, no, no, no. Entonces, yo como. Why? <laughs> the verb is comer. ¿Por qué es como? Ah, porque cuando se dice yo es como. Okay, yo como, tú como. No, no, no. Tú comes. What? So it's not comer or como. Now it's comes. So the verb changes with every pronoun. Can you imagine that? So the verb is comer. Yo como, tú comes, comemos, ellos comen. And then they're, they're going like, what? <laughs> <laughs> While in English is I eat, you eat, we eat, they eat, she eats. You're just putting us. So that that's why sometimes Spanish is very. I mean, we're lucky we speak Spanish. No, it is. Most of my students tell me the same. And you know, you know, I have met people that they have learned English and they speak English perfectly. Or maybe they learned English when they were very little and now they speak perfectly. But I have never, ever met somebody who has studied Spanish for 20 years and they speak it perfectly. I have friends that for many, many years, maybe they were, they've been living here since they were 15 years old and they're 40 now. And the, he's from Holland or they're from England or something. And yeah, they speak perfect Spanish, but not, Even not they, quite. They not speak, uh, like natives, because I know somebody that has at least 20 years here uh, and he's a, a native English speaker and he even sometimes uh, makes mistakes. Yes, it, it happens. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a little cough. Thank you, Carla. Okay, Luis Molina, hi, tell the class about yourself. Uh, hi, hi, teacher. Uh, yeah, my name is Luis Molina. I live in San Salvador. Oh, I, I, I like it, this, this, this language. I have a long time to, to understand and to learn this, this idiom. Um, but uh, I I left this this language with uh, during the the last crisis in the United States because uh, do you remember David? Do you ask me when uh, I, I I I I was I I was working 
and the UPS. This reason I I visited uh, Academia Europea, right? And because I I was studying that in that place. But um, during twelve uh, maybe twelve years ago, I left this this language. But I started one more time um, in this pandemic situation. Oh, good. Good yeah. for you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you uh -huh. don't work in UPS anymore, right? No, 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 not anymore. Uh, now they, um, I am working with a social program. With FedEx. And, no. Ah, uh, yeah, Fed, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, FedEx. But no, no anymore. I, I left the, uh, the corporate area. Uh, but now they, I, I work in the uh, independent, 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 and and uh, do you know? Uh, I don't know how do you say it in English the las licitaciones, right? Licitation. Uh, Licitations. Ah, uh, licitation with the government. Now they have a project and uh, para central zone. Um, but what, what what is the what is your area? What, what? Para central? No, but what is it? Is it like construction, auditing? Ah, okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's training. It's uh, 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 ability for the life, maybe, for the life and the job, uh, entrepreneurship, and it's about training, right? Okay, it's uh, like motivational. Uh -huh, motivational uh, attitude. Uh -huh. Oh, good. good. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh, good for you. All right. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when I saw you, I remember you. Uh huh. Uh huh. In fact, I don't know if it's you, but I remember there was an article about you in the newspaper one day, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Uh -huh. I remember because the next day in class, I brought the newspaper and I was uh -huh. playing with you. Hey, give me your autograph. Uh, yeah. It was yeah, a man. long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I am old. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was maybe 15. Yeah, 15 years ago. Or more. Yeah, I'm more. Uh -huh. No, maybe 20. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sonia Perez. Hi. Hi, teacher. How good are to see you? you again. I'm pretty good. Thank you. All right, mm -hmm. tell us about yourself. What's new? My name is Sonia. I'm 30 years old and I'm a system engineer. And I'm happy to see you again. Thank you. All right. It, and you're still looking for a job, right? Yes. All right, class. So if you know of anyone, she's a system, uh, systems engineer which in my opinion is an excellent profession. Imagine, because we need a systems engineer in every company. If the system goes down, the company's dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. All right, Larry. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, we already spoke with Larry. Miguel Franco. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you? Pretty good, thank you. So tell us about yourself. Okay, my name is Mil Franco. I, I live in Santa Tecla. Okay, uh, I work as a business development, development uh, coordinator and taxi laboratory. I'm sorry. Yes, we already <laughs> spoke. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I was going to tell you that. No problem. That's okay. That's okay. You live in Santa Tecla. No, you know, you know what happened? Maybe somebody jumped. Yeah, you see, this is what happens when somebody goes out or comes in. My, my, my screen, everybody rotates. <laughs> so yes, I remember, yes, and you live in Santa Tecla, right? <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, okay, Francisco Santos, are you there? Yes. Good evening, everybody. I think we have a bad, I, I, I can't hear you. Can the class, can you hear him? Okay, so uh, I think that, I, I think because I, I am using the the mic from my laptop. And okay. I am in front of my laptop, but even that, uh, 
I or, or you are using your neighbor's internet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, uh, All right, so tell us about yourself. Uh, well, I was saying that uh, I was your classmate before, and also I know Lina and Sonia for our last time. And it's uh, good to see you. Uh, oh, yes, you were my student. Yes, Francisco. Yeah. You see, it's hey. hard not to recognize you with no picture. Um, I haven't said it. That. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and well, but uh, I work uh, fixing cell phones also as a customer service agent. And uh, I do like English. And... I think it's in Sykes you told me you work, right? Oh no, uh, Telus. Telus, yes. And you and you fix cell phones in your in your neighborhood, right? Uh, yes, at home. Yes. <laughs> cool, nice. All right, good. Thank you, Francisco. Welcome back. And Irena, hi, Irena. I love hey, your teacher. name. It's the first time I hear that name, so I like it. Okay, thank you so much. And are you from El Salvador? Yes. And your last name? Uh, my my grandfather and my grandmother they were for, they're from Cata, they were Cataluna Cataluna. Uh, okay. So That's nice. I, thank you. So I am a I am a Barça fan. <laughs> really. Ever since I was little, my grandfather obligated me to like Barça. So. <laughs> Barça and well, coffee. I was I was a Barça fan. What Not happened? Hmm. Um, when Messi left. Nah. No, it was well. In fact, I don't like the football. Oh, okay. Much. But I have I have a boyfriend that likes, and that's why. Oh, okay. But that's not and, anymore. And he was a Barca fan. Yes. Oh, that's why you don't like very Barca anymore. Very fan, very fan Barca. <laughs> that's why you don't like Barca anymore. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> no, okay, good. <laughs> All right, so tell us about yourself, Irena. Well, um, I live in Alta Vista, San Martin, and I was in the last courses with Alex, Mirna, and let me see, Luis, Miguel. Yeah, I recognize you. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, and for Sonia, I guess, that we were, we were classmates too, right? Wait, last month? Yeah. Yeah. No, on last courses. Um, oh, okay. about, I don't know how because the yeah. last time that we were together, I think it was on September, it, right? It was around, yeah, yeah. around uh, September uh, yes. or October. Like yes. And I work at ETS Consulting. It's an enterprise that uh, sells firewalls and balancers for uh, data. Okay. And I work with contracts and licitations too, like Luis Molina, and I uh, coordinate some activities, some administrative uh, activities. Good, and thank you. Nice. That's why. So you see, you, Sonia, Luis, you have something in common, you know, like, yes. you know, yes. maybe you can do business in class. Maybe. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, Irena. So, you so you live in Alta Vista, right? Yes. And I apologize because my computer doesn't have a camera, but sometimes I will I have, will connect my phone cell too, and you will see Self two Irenas on your on your screen. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. No problem. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Dita. And hello, Esther. Start of Garcia. You see, you see, I told you. See, class, this <laughs> is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's watching Netflix right now. <laughs> and then and she's like, oh, oh my God. Yeah, Come she has, on. I, I'm here. Maybe I'm here. She's in the bathroom. <laughs> there she is. There she is. Wait. <laughs> Hello, Esther. No, it uh, was Carla. No, 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 no. But no, I, 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 saw, I, was, saw, I saw Esther. I was just saying that maybe she's in the bathroom. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Probably always right. eating dinner. 
Or she's eating dinner. Or she's driving. Or she's walking. Mm -hmm. Okay, class. So very good. Thank you very much. Um, I like this class because it's small. And sometimes the smaller, the better. Because one yeah. hour. I always think that the smaller is the better because we practice more. So let me see. <laughs> let me open up my email. Okay, tell me if you see my Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me one minute. Okay, thank you. So listen, class, before we start, I'm gonna tell you something that I always tell my other classes. I have taught English for many, many, many years. And one time, maybe, um, hold on, let me see. maybe Carla can understand me. Sometimes when you teach a language, you learn more yourself. I remember when I started teaching, I was like, ah, oh, that's why you say this. <laughs> you know, it's like, I was reading, oh, that's, and then, you know, and then it makes sense. And when you start teaching, right? So one time I was teaching the verb or the auxiliary can. Do you know what is can? Yes, you can. Okay, tell me, what is can? The verb can. The verb can is just like a can flora, a mother verb. I think it's an auxiliary um, to express what you're able or not able to do. Like, can you see my screen? Okay, can you see my screen? Good. Can you drive? Well, first, we can use as permission too. You know, like, excuse me, can I go to the bathroom? Can I, can I come in? But also, if you heard can, can you swim? Can you drive? Can you cook? It's an ability. Exactly. Can is an ability. So one time I was teaching the verb can, you know, I said, oh, okay, so can is an ability. That's why, that's when I learned the difference between speak and talk. You know, people say, oh, what's the difference between speak and talk? Well, you see, speak is like, it's like you speak English. Talk is like, it's like I talk to you. This is like the typical explanation everybody does. I always, I always tell my class, please give me an explanation like I am five years old. And, and it's really, really interesting because I would really recommend you to give an explanation like that. Imagine I am your son or your little brother, in your case, Myrna. And I am five and I say, in school, me preguntaron que la diferencia de, 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 de speak y, y, y talk. So here you say, and then you say, okay, hijo, mira, speak es, por ejemplo, como, um, speak English, I speak Spanish, yeah? Ajá, y el pobre niño va a estar, ajá. Y talk es, es por ejemplo, hey, talk to me. Um, ¿Verdad? Sí. Okay, gracias. Do you think he understood? No. 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 But he will say yes. 
Because you say, do you understand? Uh, yes. Okay, gracias. Pobre niño, I don't know what he's, his homework. So, so I was thinking, you know, like, okay, can, so you can't know the difference between speak and talk if you don't understand what can is, because speak, you only use with can. Can you speak English? Can you speak Spanish? And like Irena said, it's an ability. So then the difference between speak and talk, speak is an ability. Talk is the conversation, the action, the blah, 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 blah. So if this, if my son comes, Papa, what's the difference between speak and talk? Ah, son, okay, give me that. Speak is an ability. I speak English, I speak Spanish, it's an ability. Your little brother, he is four months, he's a baby. He can't speak. Yet. Oh. Why? Because he has not developed the ability. Yes? So what I'm trying to tell you is, I think the biggest mistake people do with English is that you study it. People always say, I study English, I study English, I study English, and you don't study English, you learn English. Because remember, everything you can do, every ability you don't study, you learn it. You don't study to, to dance, you learn to dance. You don't study to cook, you learn to cook. You don't study to speak, you learn to speak. And I think, I think that's, the, that's the, the peor error that the education system in El Salvador or institutions, they do. Because they teach you English Como materia, as a subject, and no, because if not, it's like you take notes. Porque si no, lo enseñan así, can, can es el verbo auxiliar cuando se pretende una acción que bla, 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 una acción de un determinado eh, permiso o, o una habilidad, bla, 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 and people just write, okay, okay, good. But you're not learning, you're studying it, you know? So what I recommend to you is to change your mind, change your mind and remember, you are learning English, you're not studying. So if somebody asks you, hey, que si esta en la, 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 en la noche, ah, estaba estudiando inglés. No, man, you were not studying, you're learning. All right? And when you learn, vuelvo y repito, ahí está la diferencia de speak and talk. So when I was teaching speak and talk for the first time, I could, oh, that's why. That is the difference between speak and talk. Por eso que nunca se dice, can you talk? Can you talk English? No, can you speak English? Is because speak is an ability. All right. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to learn English. All right. Por eso es que mucha gente me dice, es que mire, yo entiendo todo, 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 pero no lo puedo hablar. Porque pobrecitos decidieron estudiar el, el idioma, no aprenderlo. So. They just took notes. I don't know how many years they studied with notes. And they remember the notes, but if you can't speak, pero maybe no fue culpa de ellos. Creo que es, el sistema educativo fue malo. Okay, so let's, do, let's use uh, section one, friends and family. open. Okay, by the end of this class, it says participants will be able to use verbs followed by gerunds and infinitives. 
Do you know what gerunds are? What is the gerund of drink? Drinking. Drinking in the infinitive? To drink. To drink. All right, so oh, we're not going to have a problem then. All right. Drink. We want to officially welcome. Can you hear? Yes. 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 yes teacher. Okay. Good. You to our advanced level. Our main goal in this course is for you to speak more, to convey ideas. So we ask you to participate not only in class with your teacher but also participating on our discussion box. We wish you luck in this process. Hi, before you watch our video about verbs followed by gerund, I want you to work on two previous activities. Number one, complete the survey. Number two, tell us about yourself. How do you describe yourself? You may share your answers with a partner in class as well as in our discussion box. You may use these adjectives as well as these useful expressions. Now we're ready to study our topic, but before you go and watch the video, I want to tell you that I enjoy teaching. Share with us something you enjoy doing before you watch the explanation and let's see if you know how to do it. A gerund always follows these verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. An infinitive gerund can follow these verbs. I like going to parties. I like to go to parties. I love watching movies alone. I love to watch movies alone. I hate waiting for people. I hate to wait for people. I can't stand staying home alone. I can't stand to stay home alone. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Remember the gerunds are verb forms ending in ing. Gerunds after verbs. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish, give up, can help, imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. Other ways to use gerunds. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. Finally, we have infinitives and gerunds after verbs. Some verbs can be followed only by gerunds, some only by infinitives and some by either. Gerunds only. Avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, mention. Infinitives only. Only, agree, hope, intend, learn, plan, promise. Either gerund or infinitive. Begin, continue, like. Remember we have just given you some examples of the verbs that you may use with gerunds Infinitives or both? How do you feel about these things? Discuss your answers using verbs or expressions followed by infinitives or gerunds. Number one, listen to people's problems. Number two, go to places where you have to use your English. Now, by gerund, I want you to work on the survey. Number two, tell us about yourself. You may use these adjectives as well. Now we're ready to study our topic, but be I want to tell you that I enjoy to watch the explanation and let's see if you know how to do it. A gerund okay, always follows these verbs. Okay, so I enjoy, I dislike, I don't mind, and I avoid. First of all, do you understand what is I enjoy? Yes. 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 What is the negative of I enjoy? Dislike. Or, okay, dislike or I don't enjoy. Mm. All right, Alex Cornejo, tell me, um, are you married? Girlfriend? Yes, I'm married. Tell me something you enjoy to do with your family. I enjoy um, uh, walking at the park. On weekends. All right, good. 
Tell me something you don't enjoy to do with your family. I don't enjoy. I don't enjoy. Uh, um. Is your wife close? <laughs> yes, she mm, is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to answer that. Okay, yeah. but let me guess. For example, I don't enjoy buying shoes with my wife. All right, right. Okay, yeah. I don't enjoy uh, buy uh, the clothes. Yes. With, with her, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Why? Take, why do it takes so long <laughs> waiting? Yeah. Why do women need us to go with them to buy clothes? <laughs> First, they all say, "Do you like these?" Yeah. <laughs> nah. And. But you know what I did one time? Because my wife, she got angry. She says, you don't enjoy doing that with me. I said, hey, I'm sorry. I don't know about women's shoes. So I don't know what to do. But OK. So one time, but yes? She only only want to your company. Your, I, I don't know how to say compañía. compañía. Company, yes. But I don't think so. Sure. Because we, we, we do a lot of family time. You know, we go out to dinner. We do many things. And when I tell her to go to EPA with me, she doesn't go. <laughs> like, hey, vamos a friend. No, I don't do that. <laughs> Come on. It's just... Are you being a teacher? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. But I tell her, hey, you like, you want me to go shoe shopping with you? Okay, let's go. Let's go buy some tools. Desde ahí, nunca más me pidió ir a comprar zapatos. No, but it's good. All right, good. So you enjoy walking with your family in the park. Awesome. Yeah. And yeah, like that. I don't enjoy go to shopping. Yeah, I I like I enjoy going shopping to the supermarket with my family. Uh, um, I mean, yeah, I mean to buy uh, her, her clothes, you know, because it takes so long. It's a little difficult when yes. she takes uh, too much time. But you know one thing I realized about women? Women buy yeah. shoes so other women can see it, not men. Yeah. I, I now understand that. Because I always tell my wife, you know, I promise you that men, we don't look at shoes. We don't say, oh, man, Alex, mm. <laughs> did you see Carolina? No, oh, man, right. did you see her shoes? Her shoes. <laughs> and I tell my wife, I promise you, we don't we don't see the shoes. And she says, we we buy shoes so other women can see it. I, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. don't know. All right. Carla. Carla Chavez. Hi. Are you married? No, I'm single. Do you have a partner, boyfriend? No, I'm single, but All I'm right. dating. Oh, you're dating. <laughs> what do yeah. you enjoy doing when you date, dating? I enjoy, I enjoy dating. Oh, yeah, I enjoy dating. Dating it's is funny. fun. Yeah, um, but I enjoy dancing so much, and it's really hard for men to dance. So yes. it's a really funny way to take them out of their comfort zone. <laughs> Do you have a gay friend? Uh, yeah. Yes. Then, yeah. Yeah, you should dance with your gay friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, because uh, one of my best, well, my best friend, he's gay. And uh, I don't dance. But when we go out and dance, he dances with my wife because they love to dance. <laughs> <laughs> and all night, they can dance all night, so. All right, so so you date. What do you like to dance? Uh, salsa. Good. Mostly. Salsa. Yes, I really like it. Where do you live? In Santa Tecla. Do you know La San Luis? Yes, because I went to university in University of Salvador. There was a place a long time ago. I don't know if it still exists. It was called Cafe Latte. Yes, I know it. And, and they had salsa nights, like tea, like to go practice salsa. Do, do they still have them? I don't know. I, I don't. I was going to ask you if you have ever gone. Oh, 
because I remember it was like every Wednesday or something it was salsa salsa night, and man, I a mean, lot of I... foreigners. <laughs> it was like some free classes, you know. People just went to dance salsa, like yeah. Sounds really funny. Yeah, I no, would, not, I would no. yeah, I would try to look for the for the information. Yeah, but it's not funny. It's fun. Okay, it's fun. 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 Fun okay. is the situation. Funny is when like, do you. When do you say funny? In which context? Funny is like a clown, Jim Carrey. Oh, okay. Like, ah, <laughs> funny. Fun is good ambience, a good time. Okay. Okay. The party so if was someone, fun. If someone, if someone said, like, you're such a funny girl, <laughs> it's not like. You're a comedian. A compliment. Yeah, no, it's a compliment. But for example, let me give you an example. Teacher? Excuse me? Is an adjective funny? Funny is an adjective, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, sometimes, like, the person you are dating, do you enjoy it? Maybe. Depends on the situation. No, yes. do you enjoy Okay, so then that person is fun. Is, is... Oh, okay. Now, if that person makes you laugh all the time because that person is a comedian, then okay. it's funny. Oh, okay. I have a friend. He's very fun. Like, everywhere we go, he talks to people, and he's always the center of attention. But he is naturally like that. He is a okay. fun person. Okay. I think I am a well, funny person. Well, when someone is like making jokes all the time, is it fun or funny? Funny. It's okay. Fun. Yeah, you're funny, teacher. <laughs> it's like uh, Jim Carrey is funny. Cocolito is funny. Or example, right? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I enjoy all dancing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let me see. What, what, what do we have next? Dislike. What is something you dislike, Oscar Osvaldo? I dislike working night shift, for example. You do? No, but I used to do. <laughs> and I didn't like. All right, good. I used to like working night shift when I was single. You like it? I used to like it. Why? Because I, th I thought it was easier at night. You didn't have a lot of people watching you. Yes. And um, oh, you can you. sleep all day. Well, but like I said, <laughs> no. when I was single, because but now I have a family. No, I, no, I think that is not, it's not good. For example, when I uh, was working um, at night, I felt very tired on the end of the day. So yeah, I, I didn't like that. So... This is why I don't like night shift. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Thank you. What about you, Sonia Perez? What is something you dislike? I dislike watching news in on the TV. Okay, good. You know what? I like watching news, but I dislike watching the national news because. No hay neutras. If you want to watch Channel 10, everything is about the president. Yes. But if you want, if you want to watch TCS, everything is against the president. <laughs> and sometimes you just want to watch normal news. Mm -hmm. like, like today, today, I, I, um, before class, I was watching. I want to see, you know, what's going on in, in Ukraine and Russia. Okay. But my, my tia, she was there, so I had to put Spanish. And everything was like, oh my God, El Salvador is collapsing with COVID and uh, people are dying. And, you know, say they, they paint El Salvador as the terrible. So you change channel 10 and then, you know, like, oh my God, the government discovered <laughs> $1 billion of drugs, but no news. <laughs> like like mm -hmm. sometimes you, you watch uh, CNN or Fox or News, Fox. They're, they're they're same opposite, right? Yes. If you like Donald Trump, watch Fox. Right. <laughs> if you hate Donald Trump, watch CNN. 
you know what I like to to watch is W W the 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 German I think oh, Dutch London? oh Dutch Dutch oh, Dutch well eh? Dutch world news uh, yeah they they do uh, Twitter yeah. is better I'm mm. sorry Twitter is better <laughs> Twitter nah. you see the generation yeah, no. mm -hmm. oh, you God. see the new generation yeah. right. Believe it or not, Mirna, before people used to sit down and turn on the TV to watch the news. <laughs> no, but it's true. Twitter is better. You see, that's why that's why Bukele is a smart man, because he has good assessors. The assessors told him, no, Mr. Bukele, the best way now is social media. And that's it worked. It worked in the United States. It worked with us, uh, with Obama. You know, they work in social media because the majority or like 80, I don't know, young adults to young people, they watch more social media than TV. Yeah. So that's smart. Good assessors. Larry, Larry. Tell me. What happened to Mo and Curly? And they are that a class. I learned a new trick today. Do you want to see a, a magic trick? All right, show us. All right, yes. check, check this out. Watch, do you see my hands? You see this hand? Yeah, you see? No, <laughs> uh -huh. oh, you saw that, right? <laughs> I transported my hands. One more time, watch, look. That's easy. Right. <laughs> do it. I want to see you do it. <laughs> no way. Uh huh. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> watch, look. One, two. <laughs> <laughs> I am following this person in YouTube. He teaches all the tricks. Kind of magic, right? Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Tomorrow, my niece is going to come. My niece. So I am ready to teach her tricks. Check this out. Do you see my finger? Watch. Hold on. Do you see my pinky? Yeah. Yes. Look. I don't know if you could see it good, though. I, I don't think you could see it. Uh, I, but I can I can fold it. <laughs> you need more practice. Yes, I need to practice. I I have my coins here. You see, I, I'm practicing with my coins with my. Okay. Watch, you see this? Watch, look. <laughs> no, but it's kind of now. Forget it. I will practice and, and I will teach you magic tricks later. <laughs> All right. So um. So. What is don't mind? Don't mind. Don't even think about it. Yes. For example, do you smoke? No. Nobody smokes. No. No. No teacher. Good. I don't smoke either. I used to smoke, but now I don't smoke. But sometimes when people come and visit me, they tell me, Excuse me, do you mind if I smoke? And I say, yes, I do mind. Please don't smoke. What is I do mind? Like you, you caring agree. about it? Like caring about it? Like mm -hmm. I do. You, you care about it? No, like, it's, not, it's not really care. Mean? It's like bother. It bothers me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like that something day. that is annoying no it's not annoying because no annoying annoying is like a it's like those neighbors that you have that they play bad bunny all day in full volume <laughs> that's mm -hmm. annoying <laughs> yes. no but like yeah. i mind and i don't mind this molesta for example literalmente le molesta si fumo Yes, I mind. Please don't smoke. It's a very polite way of asking. 
Do you mind? For example, imagine, imagine we're talking, it's only me and you, but the person behind me is talking on the phone, ah! you know, like, or I'm in the movies, in the movies, and you're watching the movie, and the person behind you is talking on the phone, and you see like, excuse me, do you mind? And they say, Man, it's a, it's a movie theater. We're watching a movie. You can't speak on the phone. Yes. En la forma muy educada de preguntar. Okay. Le molesta, sí. And the two possible answers are yes, I mind, or no, I don't mind. But it's like asking permission. Remember that. For example, when I have visitors in my house, I go to my neighbor's house and say, hi neighbor, excuse me. Do you mind if my father parks in front of your car? In I'm sorry, in front of your house, only for 30 minutes. And my neighbor says, no, no problem. Okay, thank you, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Practice that, Mirna. Okay, so you understand them. Do you mind? Yes. Yes. Or, bueno, hoy está de moda. When people don't use a mask. Or, you know, they wear it here. Mm -hmm. And they come and talk to you and say, excuse me, do you mind putting your mask? The, the the mask right for for the COVID. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe sometimes when people use coughing. <laughs> yes, when people go ah, ah, <laughs> do you mind covering yourself, please? <laughs> okay, class. Thank you very much. We'll continue more on this tomorrow. Okay. Well, we will have class tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But only tomorrow, next Friday, no. Okay. okay teacher. All right. So All I, right. I will see you tomorrow. It was very nice to meet you. Okay. okay. Bye. 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 Good night, everybody. Bye bye. Bye.